Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make these Christmas ornament cocoa bombs. These are absolutely amazing, so keep watching, and I'll show you step by step how to make these. For our first recipe, we're gonna make some ornament cocoa bombs. I have made cocoa bombs before for Halloween and back in October, but this one is gonna be uh, shaped and decorated to look like ornaments. So one of the first things you're gonna need is this mold right here. I'll put a link in the description below. It's perfect for making these. You can also do this with some balloons if you don't have a mold. I, if you look at my Halloween one, I show you how to do it that way if you don't have the mold. Next, you're gonna need some candy melts. I'm using candy melts. You can use white chocolate, for instance, and then color it, but candy melts are so much easier to work with. They already come in the color that you want. If you can't find the other color, you can almost always find the white candy melts. If you do want to color it, make sure you use gel-based food coloring or powder-based. Do not use water-based because water and chocolate seize up. So these are easy to work with. I have yellow, red, and I'm going to put one blue. We'll go with light blue. Just melt these down in the microwave 30 seconds at a time, mixing in between. Now that our candy melts have been melted, what we're going to do is fill our molds. I'm going to do two of each color. Start with the yellow. Use the back of your spoon and spread it around. And do the other colors just the same way. Now let these firm up before we move on to the next step. Because we're gonna be decorating the cocoa bombs like their ornaments, we need to make the little loop that usually hangs on the tree. And I have these little mini Reese's peanut butter cups. That's what I'm gonna put on top of the ornament. And then we gotta find that little loop. So I just have some of the blue chocolate that we've already melted down, put it in a piping bag. And I'm gonna make a loop, uh, not too big, but we're just gonna draw it on some wax paper. And I'm using my mini Reese's as a guide. So let's make this loop. I'll make it kind of thick. And then that's gonna go like this. You'll see at the end. Once these have firmed up, we can remove them from the mold. So let's do this carefully so we don't break it. Just push it out. Start with the blue. Now what we wanna do is heat up a small pan. We're gonna use that to level off our half circles. When the pan's hot, just take your half circle, put it on there. Move it around a little bit and flip it off. There we go. Before we do the other half, we gotta fill this half with some cocoa and some marshmallows. So I just have some hot cocoa mix, just came in a little bag. This has little tiny marshmallows in it, but you really can't see them. So we're gonna add some more marshmallows. Add hot cocoa. few mini marshmallows. Heat the other side of your half circle. Flip it over and carefully line it up like so. Now using our melted chocolate again, we're going to take the loops that we just drew once they've hardened up and we're gonna put them on top of our little mini Reese's. So just put a dab of chocolate on there, a good amount, and add your chocolate on there. You may have to hold it for a minute or two. It might work out if you have gloves on so that you don't melt the chocolate, but after a couple seconds, it should stay on its own. And now all we gotta do is take our cocoa bombs that's already filled up and we're just going to attach the Reese's thing to the top of it here and make it look like an ornament. A little bit of that melted chocolate on the bottom of our Reese's and place it right on top like that. Now all we have to do is the same thing with the rest of our colors. Now it's time to test them out. All you gotta do is find your favorite Christmas mug, heat up some milk, and pour the hot milk over top of your cocoa bombs. You do have to make sure your cocoa bombs are big enough to fit into your mug. Now take your cocoa bomb and set it in your glass. Mine doesn't go all the way down, but it's down far enough. 
and pour your hot milk over top of it. And you may have to help it out a little. There we go. Now you can just mix up that cocoa. And of course, we're gonna try it out. Delicious. Next up, we're gonna do another Christmas recipe using candy melts. You only need two colors here. Really, you only need one color, but we're gonna use two just to dress it up a bit. Uh, so I have white and red candy melts. I'm gonna melt those down in a moment. You're also gonna need some candy canes. Uh, I like to use the ones that I broke during other recipes and that we're going to break up. I already have some broken up in here, but I gotta break up some more. And an eight by eight dish. Uh, this we're going to use foil to line it. You can use foil, wax paper, parchment paper. It really doesn't matter. So let's melt down our candy melts. The red ones are pretty much melted, but I need to melt the white ones. Now we're just gonna line our eight by eight pan with some foil. Before I pour my candy melts in, I wanna spray the inside of this with a little bit of cooking spray, not very much, very little bit. And now we're just gonna take our white candy melts and pour it in. Now we wanna drizzle over our red. Take a spoon or a knife and we're just going to marble it a little, like so. Maybe give it a tap. Now add some crushed candy canes. As much or as little as you'd like. Let this dry and harden up, and when it's ready, we'll break it off into pieces. So when your Christmas bark has firmed up, we can just take it out of the pan. Open up the foil. You can use whatever you want to break it into pieces. You can use your hands and break it too, but I kind of want to use the back of a glass just to kind of get some clean breaks. And now let's try out our peppermint bark. It's good. And that's it, that is the Christmas peppermint bark. It is so simple, so easy to do, anyone can do it. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these Christmas cocoa bombs as well as other Christmas recipes on here. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, you get new videos all the time. Check out this video right here. And until then, I'll see you next time. Any Reese's pieces are, start over. The ornaments, no. You first have to just uh, <coughs> heat up some milk your uh i'm gonna show you how to make these cocoa how to make these <clears throat> let's get a breath mug